Namaste, I'm Pravika, design team member at Craft Angles. Today I bring three craft themed cards for you. So for my first card, which is clean and simple, yet seen card, I start with the supplies, which are the white dual textured card stock. Then I have the O-Crab stamp set by Craft Angles. I have few very basic uh, dies, which are in circles. The Craft Angles dies, which is called the Stitch Clouds here. And I also plan to use the grass die if in case we really require it. So this is my uh, colored cardstock, which I'll be using. It is the Emerald Green, the Craft cardstock, the ca Canary Yellow, the Cobalt Blue cardstock. So with all these supplies, let's get started. So for the first thing what I'll do is I'll die cut the circle from the uh, white cardstock. This is how it looks and now with the yellow uh, cardstock which is the canary yellow by calf triangles I've die cut this yellow circle. Now it is time that I use my cobalt blue to make some waves and for waves I'm going to use the stitch cloud die uh, set. So now here you see I've die cut two circles, one in white, one in craft. And I also had some palm trees which I cut from the emerald green here. So I've got some waves, I've also got the uh, sun. Now it is time that I'll be stamping my crab from the crab stamp set, which is called the O crab uh, stamp set. So I do it by stamping it over a scrap piece of paper that I already have using the black uh, dye, which you can use any of your own choice. So this is what I do here. I stamp it and then I shall be coloring it of my own choice. Now, it is time to assemble and uh, before that I do so, I'll be adding some depth on my die cuts. So I'm just uh, ink blending some of the same colored um, ink over the colored cardstock. So here I'm using the distressing salty ocean which I'm doing and this is how the waves will look like. Now I'll make some uh, sky using the lighter blue shade. So I'm not going to color the whole of it because the rest of the rest part of the circle will be covered with the die cuts that we will be using for the waves. So this is what I do. I ink blend for the uh, sky and then I am using the wild honey distress ink here to color and add some depth over the sun. Don't bother because some of it will be really hidden. Now using uh, some green here, I am also darkening the little... Uh, leaves of the palm so I'll give it a little interest and it will not look that flat it will look a little dimensional so this is what I do here I do the same thing uh, here with my other palm tree now I'll be coloring the sand and the palm base which I'll be using doing uh, which will I'll be doing using the uh, different shades of brown that I have so I'm taking it here and just rubbing it very gently it is nothing to be very scared of so this is what i do i also add for little coconuts here now to make the sand i decided that i'll be free cutting it and not using the um, grass die cut of course so i can use this half half of it i can use on the other card so here i'll be attaching it so this becomes my sand these this is my wave i will also be adding another wave splashing waves so that it looks a little more uh, dimensional and adds a little interest so here if you see i have um, two of it and some of it will actually hang out which i'll cut it later on and then i'll add my palm trees to make a little scene out here and uh, add the palm tops also put the coconut up there and definitely the little sun so this is how it will look and this will be the crab which i'll color later so this is how the whole thing looks after i've colored and stuck it so now i've added these uh, sentiments called wishing you the oceans of joy finally to add a little more interest i'm splattering the white paint here so it looks a little pretty and this is how my car looks i've for my second card, it's a very clean and simple card and I'm using the scraps. To begin with, I'm using the craft cardstock by Craft Angles. I already have a panel which measures 8.5 by 5.5 inches. I'm going to use the In Distress ink in Salty Ocean, the blending brush by Craft Angles, the O Crab stamp set and definitely a few alcohol markers. So to begin with, uh, since I have this panel which measures 5.5 by 8.5 inches, I'm going to score it half on the uh, along the longer side and I'm scoring at it at four and a half, four and a quarter inches and I'm burnishing it really well. 
so I'm just opening it and burnishing it well again just keeping aside now I'm going to take the scrap piece which I already have for the white cardstock and just uh, taking it and measuring it to make the little C so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, measure and uh, trim it to four inches and don't worry about the length because uh, anyway we are going to cut it so here I have this now piece which has the width of 4 inches and now I'm going to tear this paper off so that it looks a little uh, natural shore of the sea because that is generally where the crabs are found. So after I do this it is time that I will be in blending using the salty ocean. So you see I am uh, keeping the darker edges on the bottom and just lightening up the whole color as we move up. So this is how it looks. I'm just brushing it above and I'm not mixing it with any other color because the salty ocean in itself is a beautiful oceany color. So I'm splattering some uh, clean water here and so that the distressing will now react and will give beautiful dimension. Now I'm adding uh, the sentiments here which says have a have a crabby birthday and uh, now i'm stamping it using the black dye ink So once the sentiments are ready, I'm going to just paste this using the liquid glue onto the card uh, base that we created with the craft angles craft uh, card stock. And now since this is done, I'm going to stamp my uh, crab image onto another scrap of paper because I'm using it because I want to recycle and do not waste my paper which is another resource from the trees here. So I'm just stamping this image uh, which, has, which is a crab uh, carrying a little present and I've colored it using the Copic markers. Now I'll just adhere it onto the waves using the foam tape to give an added dimension. So once I paste it and stick my crab out here, my card is ready. Isn't it beautiful? For my last card here, I really want to make it a clean and simple card. So for this, I'm using the dual textured cardstock and I'm using the square mask stencil along with the wave stencil by Craft Angles. And I'm using my favorite today, which is the Salty Ocean Distress Ink. And as I stencil in here, just keep ink blending. So now the ink blending is done, I remove it. So our idea is to create a very simple looking card and once i've already colored you've seen me doing it uh, several times i attach it using the 3d foam tape and to add the sentiments i'm going to write oh crap i forgot so i am now stamping the sentiments using the black dye ink So here it is and I complete my sentiments by double stamping it to give a beautiful crisp look. I'm just highlighting the little crab here using the white jelly roll pen. And once it is done, I think I'll just add some little accents. So I'm using the blue colored accent here. So it will also give a beautiful look of the sp uh, water splashes. So once it is done and my card is ready. I hope you like the cards today.